Um, I'm Audrey Elizabeth Smith and I met Richard when I was 14 uh, and he was a bit younger uh, and we met on the Victoria Park because he lived with his family, his father being head of the university, he lived in a house on the park. So, and he was so sociable. He was the one that, of the brothers that uh, wanted, well, there was a crowd of us used to meet on the park. I was at the Newark Girls School and he was at the Wigiston. And he came and introduced himself to us all. We all used to meet get together every night and he came with his friend Arthur Goodborn and joined in and loved it. He, as I say, he was the only one of the brothers that chose to come and uh, be sociable and want to mix. He was a keen scout member and used to come in his scout uniform and uh, he did his plays he was very good at school and did his school plays and I went to see him and his David. Uh, they were in a uh, show at the St Barnabas Church and uh, even then you could tell he was going to be uh, go places. As, um, as things, the war went, was looming, he, um, he took his matric and uh, didn't do very well. So he decided, I think, that acting was his um, way in life. And his father stipulated that if he got to RADA, he, he would agree to him being an actor because they were a very ac academic family. And I had left the Newark Girls' School and was at a commercial school and uh, organised a dance that was at the, which we held at the fire station, which is just down from the Rich, Richard Attenborough Theatre, and uh, raised money for the refugees. And uh, I think there was about four of them staying at his house. But at any rate, from then on, the war came and Richard took his exam with Arthur being so helpful. He was, he helped him in swatting, so we hardly saw them. But we knew, we just kept our fingers crossed. All of us were so uh, keen for him to get there. And when he passed, it was a real celebration. And uh, he went to RADA, and uh, I was quite amazed how he fell in love with his Sheila Slim so quickly. But from then on, we watched all his progress and way of life and how good he, he from film he did Gandhi, and he was a terrific success. Well, my path didn't cross with Richards again. We each went our different ways. I met my husband at 17 and uh, he got married soon after me. Uh, unfortunately, his mother, who was a lovely person, because um, she'd already had me for tea at the house as a thank you, so I hadn't met her. And unfortunately, she was killed in a car accident, which was quite a tragedy. Well, then Richard and I didn't meet until Princess Diana passed away. And they had a service at the cathedral. And Richard, being friendly with her, was asked to give the address. So... Um, <laughs> He, he, in his usual friendly, which it, friendly way, he was still as friendly as he was when he was a, a schoolboy with me. And he was outside the cathedral in Leicester, <coughs> meeting everybody. And of course, I got a kiss 
and a hello darling from him and it was very lovely to see him again and uh, my memories of him are, are so vivid and I was so, I've watched it, he's had tragedy and the one thing though that we had in common he um, was very involved with muscular dystrophy and I started Memphis, a charity for handicapped children that's now been going over 40 years and uh, the one I started it for was a young lad with muscular dystrophy. So we had that in common and my good wishes go for his good health and hope he continues to do a little bit of acting still. And that's what my memory is of him, very lovely memories.